are in the early stages of labour. So today is the 10th of October. 10th of the 10th. 10th of the 10th. 2021. I've been having like lots of um, lower belly aches for probably the last week. Just my body doing all the things to get ready. And we went down to, I was like fine all day. Mm. Hey, mm -hmm. and then we went down to Berlin and had some fish and chips for a late lunch and then as we were walking back, and this is just after three, I was getting like some lightning crutch, like some sort of like sharp, sharp pains, it just like sort of... Like period style cramping pain? No, it was more like, um, like I've had it during my pregnancy anyway, just like baby sort of pushing down on my cervix and it's those like, it's, it's a nervy <laughs> pain. And, um, but I was just kind of walking through it, like the whole car ride home. I, like baby just kept on moving and it was like, I was feeling the pressure and those pains again. And then we'd got home and I just kind of kept myself busy and then sat on the ball, got to about 4.30. They were quite mild. Totally mild yeah. and maybe like 10 but seconds, you could, you 15 could still seconds. talk and conversate. And yeah, long story from, from there, long story short is since about six o'clock. Six o'clock was my most sort of strongest surge so far. It's a time now. But um, 6.48, so it's not, a, not even been an hour. Mm -hmm. They're consistent. <laughs> They're very consistent, like, yeah. Where's your head at? What's your... I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in such a good headspace. I feel like I put, we have put so much hard work, well not hard work, but we've done the work to be really prepared for this. I am literally not in my head. I am completely releasing this birth over to the baby and my body. Oh, if you didn't know, um, well, we're having a baby. <laughs> in there. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, it's strong, like, it's at the point now that I know this is a search, I'm not second guessing it, but I am talking to you while in a search. Yeah. Do you feel like you need to focus on your breath while no. you're doing this? So, so they're quite mild. Very excited. No. That excited that I haven't even had dinner. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to message my midwife, Eva. I know that she's not working tonight, but she's back on tomorrow. So I'm hoping maybe if I could drop her a message, she might decide to clock on early. <laughs> if I don't hear back from her, I'll, just have, I'll have to phone through. I'm her next birth and have been for weeks. I think she'd be spewing to miss it. So anyway, that's the update. Feeling good? Yeah, so good. Feeling happy? Yeah. Yeah. Feeling prepared? Yeah. Excited? I think the only thing that I'm trying to sort of frame around at the moment is that if this dies off, <laughs> that I don't get disheartened. Yeah. I'm just trying to like mentally frame that. You know and what even I mean? if it does die, if it's like my oh, body's still a, doing the work. A, yeah, it's preparation. Yeah. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to. I think it's a girl. I keep changing. But then I think it's a boy. Yeah. I don't know. But every week it ch I change. <laughs> Little bump up there. Pretty much the update. Here we go. Show me, your, show me your um, birthing shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this doesn't send you good vibes and make you happy. Get out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> How about that one? This is what I'm gonna wear into the hospital. How good is that? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I just wear it every day. <laughs> See. Good night. Yeah. Update. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> it is now the next day. It is 10 a.m. So what happened last night? So last night it I was. I need to apply some acupressure. <laughs> <laughs> right. They were around every nine minutes for about 45 seconds, and they were going from mild up to like moderate intensity that was pretty consistent like up until about 10 ish i must have fallen asleep and a couple of surges woke me up but i think they were quite moderate it must have been like every hour or something i don't know and then from yeah like three o'clock this morning when your alarm went off there was 
nothing like baby must have been asleep because I couldn't even really feel baby and I wasn't having any surges or anything and once we got up this morning to get Bubby to kindy it's kind of got back to where it is so one in ten same sort of thing the left side of my back's quite achy might use a heat pack soon Luke's been doing some nice stuff to help acupressure and that kind of stuff but Caitlin knows her body more than I do so she has a feeling that um, we are in early stages of labor then um, it's just but this it's also common that this could stop and start for days a week and this is where the all the prep work comes in stay in a good headspace back pain is bothering me more than anything does it run down your leg or is it just no last night my I don't know if you remember me saying my I had a pain in my my left glute and it was like making my whole left leg numb mm. we did try to go for a walk earlier today but um because Caitlin's back was sore quite pulled the pin on that and I rang the midwife uh, last night to say that I think I'm in early labor she had said, you know, you can be coasting along so smoothly, but then when it's your second baby, you can go like into active labor really quick and you can progress really quick from there. Just gotta stay calm and ride the waves. And just listening to my body, like today, it was like, yep, let's go for a walk. And then by the time it got to the point of going for a walk, it's like, no, that's not what I feel like I need right now. Mm. Like, I feel like I need to be home. I need heat on my back. I need to rest. Like, I'm tired. I'm yawning. Like, if I've got the energy to walk, then go for a walk, but I don't. So, just listening. Listening to my body. Not trying to control it. I can't, I can't control this. It's not part of the process. Bye. So, it is the 12th of October. It's about 3.30 in the morning. Not sure if you can hear the affirmations playing in the background, but we've woken and uh, with some pretty intense uh, surges. So they're about lasting a minute long and they're about three and a half minutes apart. Yeah, it's a bit dark, but focusing on her breathing at the moment and we're just going through all the things that we've learnt through hypnobirthing so today we could meet our little bubba I'll keep you updated hopefully today can't wait to meet you my body
guys. So we uh, made it to the hospital. <laughs> we have progressed quite a lot. Uh, About 4.30. Uh, Traction's really strong. Um, uh, she really wants to push. Uh, Oh! <laughs> 
Um, that was real quick. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all a bit shocked. Good job. We have a girl. You've got another girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> I haven't even set the room up, darling. No. Nope. She was in a hurry once she decided she was ready. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, me. Well done, my love. You did so well. You killed it. <laughs> Our placenta. Shortish cord. Like it's not tiny. I've had ones that are about this sort of long, but and you can tell that your water's broken well advanced labour because the membranes are quite ragged. And the side connected to you looks amazing. No calcification at all. Looks like it's there. So all we can ever say about a placenta is that we think it's all here because of course we're not up in there checking everything. So super important if you just start having some really heavy bleeding out of nowhere, you let me know. She's three, three, two. She wants to sit still for more than two seconds. Three, three, two, three. Lots of threes, baby girl. Lots of threes. Jamie. So this is Sam. Have you finished to run through as much as you need to do this? <laughs> and she is doing <laughs> Caitlin's placenta. Um, so we've got some raw tablets coming for Caitlin, which she will have immediately. And there will be some raw powder. Okay, I think. So there we go. How are you going, Dallin? I feel so good. Yeah. One more after this one if you can do it, or do you want to stop now? No. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Raw placenta. Yeah. So it's fresh. I shouldn't say raw, it's fresh. Uh, so pretty much after the birth of the placenta, um, Ebeth, our midwife, checked it over, um, gave it the all clear, and then we bagged it and put it in the container. I contacted Sam to let her know that we were ready, and then here we are. Caitlin is is basically having Caitlin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the good stuff. Having the good stuff. Sam is the only one in the country that does the fresh encapsulation, fresh encapsulation um, for the placenta. So that's part of the placenta done there and then as I mentioned before we'll get the rest uh, encapsulated in powder. Caitlin will work her way through that.
almost 12 hours postpartum. Time to go home. Daddy? We did it. <laughs> oh. Don't cough. That was an experience, so wasn't it, darling? And so this is it. The 12th of the 10th, 2021. Our little baby Florence Taumarama Bashara is born. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Mm.